but you have to do 50 if you start. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Jim. <laughs> really push, though. I want you to finish the push. Really get height. Height. Extend the shoulders. That's it. Did you see what, the difference between what he was doing the first time? He was just kind of going to the box. Extend. Like, guys, what's the power of this exercise, and this is an important concept, in the bench press, the deadlift, the squat, they're good exercises, but for power explosion, when you throw a punch, right? When you throw a punch, you don't throw a punch and then start pulling it back at the end, right? But if you look at the speed of a bench press or the speed of a deadlift, what happens? You come down, it accelerates, accelerates, but now you have to slow down because you have to stop. Mm -hmm. So you see how the end curve where you need the most power is where we're teaching our body to slow down. When I do this, and that's what it, exactly what he was doing, he was going up and then slowing down and catching. No, you want to be as far as you can throw yourself to get that full extension, and then as you catch, stretch, and fire again. That's why medicine balls and everything are good training tools, because they simulate movement. You know, like again, if you want to hit or throw or shoot, anything you do, it's like you got to have power all the way through that movement, not just stopping at the end. So a bench press, they lift, they build strength, but do you see how at the end ranges they slow things down? So yeah, you would build your deadlift or squat to be able to jump higher, but then you have to jump if you're going to ever really finish it off, or take medicine balls, you know, throwing it, things like that where you're developing power through the whole range. Mm -hmm. Does everybody get that? That was a, a breakthrough for me a while ago where it was like, man, you know, you, it's great to be really strong, but at the end, they don't have a lot of power, you know, so. How do you train to, do you do the deadlifts and then do the jump? Yeah, yeah, that? well, that's one form, so it's like, a, yeah, that's called complex training, where you can do that, where you can say, do a set of three heavy, throw it down, you rest, 15 to 30 seconds and do five jumps to really build. You're using the motor units you just used, or you can do it on different days too. You know, because how I think of it as, I always say my training is like a, a pendulum. I'm always working strength, endurance, power, all you know through the whole week. I'm always working, not like oh I'm only working strength for the next three months and then I'm only working power. It's I don't think that's how that body works as good. But that was a that was a model everybody was using for 15 years. You know, periodization. Model, where now I think you can build them all, but it doesn't have to be at the same time, but that is an effective method too. Because I'll say this, you'll jump higher after you're squatting and deadlifting. As long as you're not killing, you know, you're not killing yourself. So does that make sense? So it's just figuring out how to put these together. And I think that's all with the box. But right there, we got...